Life sucks, and then you die. Hello, everybody. Freaky Critters here. Today, I'm gonna show you the best way on raising black widows. First of all, of course, you're gonna need a black widow and some fertilized egg sacs, like these. You're gonna need as well jars, big jars. Well, not that big, but pretty big, like these. They're big, not too much, you know, medium size, whatever. Do not poke holes on them. Do not poke holes on them. Because the black widows are really small, they can get out. And just one egg sac can infest the whole house, so you don't want to infest your whole house. Okay, just don't worry about the ventilation and any of that. Just like every two days open it so they can get fresh air, and that's it. You're going to need a spray bottle. Some fruit flies, of course. You can use ants if you don't, if you can't get fruit flies. Um, and for keeping the XX uh, pill bottles, work the best. Yeah, for me, everybody is different. For me, I would prefer keeping my XX inside of pill bottles. Yeah. So yeah, in here I got brown widows, and in here I got black widows. So I'm breeding both. I'm raising both. So yeah, this is what they're gonna look like. Give me a second. As babies, you see all those babies, and there, there's an egg sac. It's open. All of them, all of those came out of that. So there's a bunch of spiders and only one egg sac. So yeah, they're gonna web up like when you when they first hatch. They're gonna like the first two days. They're just gonna web up all the jar. So yeah, for the first two months, you only gonna need water. So give them two good sprays like this. That's it. You're done. For like for a month and a half or two months, whatever, just keep them full with water. You're not gonna need the fruit flies. You can use the fruit flies if you want, but for me, the water works best. After two months, you can start using the fruit flies. These are the black widows. Let me show you. Those ones were the brown widows. So I'm gonna show you the black widows. So give me one second. So yeah, this is how black baby black widows look like. Yeah, there's a broken egg sac, of course. So a bunch in there, so yeah. So yeah, once they grow, they're start a little. They're yeah. The first two months, they're gonna be slightly bigger. The males are not gonna grow that much, to be honest. The males are gonna grow, but they kind of will still look kind of like slings when when they're adults. So yeah, it's pretty weird, but yeah. This is an adult female. So big one, a really really fat black widow. So that's what a black widow looks like, a healthy one. And this is what a brown widow looks like. For all of you who were wondering, let me show you. That's a brown widow. Really cool spiders. Yeah, there's a meal and she didn't eat it. I dropped it yesterday, but yeah, she didn't eat it. But yeah, you can drop ants. As I told you, if you can't access fruit flies, you can drop at some ants. But I suggest you get fruit flies. It's pretty easy to get fruit flies. Pet, pet stores have them. If you can't really find them, just it's, you can get some in the wild. Just put some fruit around it. Whatever, try capturing uh, some and make a culture. Which I'm going to try to do a video how to make a fruit fly culture from scratch. So stay tuned. But yeah, that's all for today. If you're trying to raise black widows, this is the best way for me. Like It works I, I prefer, like I told you, raise them the first two months with water. Keep them full. So, yeah, that's all. Thank you, guys. Make sure to uh, give it a like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Dislike it if you don't like it. Like it if you like it. Whatever. I'm out.